Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to set up a Windows Server in your uh, virtual environment using EVNG. Now, um, if you're used to EVNG, it's just an emulated virtual environment that allows you to, you know, test network security and all types of other different um, platforms using your hardware at home, whether it be VMware, your desktop. So basically, um, with this, we're going to be setting up a server that you can utilize to test like Exchange, Active Directory, Group Policy, anything you want in like a virtualized environment. So to do this, you're going to need to download EVNG. And first, we're going to need to SSH into our instance here. So SSH. Oop, I did that wrong. Okay. All right, so once you're inside of there, we're going to need to create a folder. So this folder is going to be called um, Win, Win Server 2016 Now, you can name it whatever you want, but this is the name that I'm going to have. So we're going to do make dr opt. And you want to have, it needs to go in this path here as well. And I, you see, I already have the folder name because I've already created it. So you would do 2016 and then you would press enter. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open up uh, FileZilla. I already had an instance open, but so what we're going to need to do is then using your SFT, SFTP uh, utility of choice, you want to then connect to your instance. And then you want to go to the path where you created that folder. Find it here. There we go. Opt, Unit Lab, and then Add Ons, QEMU, and then our folder. Now, I've already dropped um, the ISO in there, but this was the original one and I moved it over. I moved it over already because it's pretty big. So once it's in there, this file won't be in there. We'll need to create that. But what you would need to do then is go into that folder. And then, and then you see that, and then you want to rename that, uh, that ISO file. So to rename that, just do a move then the ISO name, so let's say it's when server 2016.iso, you'll want to then put cd-rom.iso at the end of it. And then once that's done, uh, we'll need to then create a virtual hard disk named virtio, virtiaoa.qcal2. And we'll need this for it to be able to run on EVENG. So to do that, you're just going to go opt. QEMU, bin, and then, and then create, dash F, and that's going to be QCAL2, and then vert, dot Q, C O W 2 and then the size of the drive you want. So you want a size that's decent enough for you to be able to install and then utilize uh, like Windows updates and stuff like that. So you can do like 60 gigs. And then you'd press enter. And then once that's done, that creates this file right here, this virtual QCAL2. So once that's done, we'll then create a lab with that server inside of it. So I'll go into my instance here. And you'll create a lab. If, you, if you're not on this screen, you'll probably either be on this screen. Just create a new lab, call it whatever you want. Um, I created one that's called server, one server, open it up, and we're going to add an object. And then it should say Windows Server. And then depending on what images you have, that folder name is going to show up in here. So you're going to create that folder, you're going to hit save, and then once that's saved, you'll want to go ahead and start this. Now. We can add this to our network, which we'll need to do to be able to uh, 
um, get updates and things like that. So I can do that. I've already have this set up. Uh, I'll do a video on what's needed to be able to connect this to your uh, local network. So I'll hit save there. And then since I'm using the free edition, I have to have it off to be able to connect to the uh, port. And then I'll click start there. And if we double click this, now this can be used with RDP, but I'm gonna use the browser for now. You'll just need to actually go in and set up a username um, and then allow RDP on that server um, in the network settings. So we'll take a second, let this uh, load up. So in order for this to actually install, we'll need to load in a driver for it to recognize the hard disk that gets created. So this might take a little bit of time. So this all is going to, um, the speed of this is going to depend on just basically the resources you have available. So I allocated eight gigs to it, but you know, it's also going to depend on what you have available on your machine as far as your server and stuff like that. So this should come up on another screen here. Give it a second here. So once it comes here, we we'll want to go ahead and click next through this. And depending on how this takes, let me go ahead and pause this until it gets to the screen that we need here. Okay, so we're back. So now it's on the Windows Server 2016 screen. Keep all that there. I'm going to hit next, install. And it's going to say setup is starting. Let's give this a second here. Okay, so once it comes here, you want to choose your um, desired so option. I'm going to do data center with desktop experience. And once I get in here, you will notice that there's no drive. Typically, you'll see the drive. What you'll need to do is you need to load in the driver. So once you click that, click browse, go to floppy disk B, go to storage, Go to 2003 R2 AMD 64 and hit OK. And then you want to, get, once you get that, you'll hit next. And then this should then pull up our, um, this should pull up our drive here. So now once you get here, this is essentially the end of uh, this video here. So what this is going to do is allow you to install it. I'm not going to go ahead and install it because it's going to take some time. But your drive space is 50 gigs. So you want to make sure the 50 gigs is uh, as much as you need for what you're going to be doing. So if you need 100, make sure on that previous screen where you're creating that virtual dr uh, drive in your SSH console here that you do um, 50, 100, whatever you need. So again, that's it. Um, if you have any questions in regards to the video or um, have any issues connecting anything up drop me a comment below and i'll you know free i will feel free to help you out again you know you can also follow along i'll probably do a blog article on this as well a little write-up but again thanks for tuning in uh thanks hope to see you next time